good day to you welcome wherever you're watching from to your bite-sized word of encouragement but also equipping i like to think that these are also equipping times not just to make you feel good for today and then you forget about it tomorrow but i want to give you some little bite-sized words that will lead you closer to god and to grow in character and to become more like jesus that's what these bite-sized words are all about and the reason they're called bite-sized is they quick easy to take a bite chew on it and and get some fill yourself up with some sustenance so today i'm going to speak to you about um seasons but i'm not giving you the the whole teaching on seasons because this is a bite-sized word um uh, but I'm going to speak to you uh, just a few thoughts about, you know, uh, God moves in seasons. And we start out with a season where God is promising us great things. And then we go into a season of preparation or process where we, we're growing in character. We're learning how to wait. We're learning to trust God. Um, while And this is the in-between season of receiving a promise. And then we get to the season of purpose where we actually are walking in the thing that God promised us we've received it we it's manifested in the natural we're out of the in-between process and we're walking in it but there are some people who always just seem to go in cycles not seasons and they go in cycles where God promises amazing things but they never seem to reach that place God said they're going to do they never seem to be able to grasp or grab hold of that promise that God has given them and I've just got a few ideas of why this happens to some people and if you know these people you can tell them and if it's you you can take these things if the shoe fits wear it and then ask the Spirit of God to help you how to change so you can move from the season of always receiving these great words but never getting there you know when Joshua said to uh, God said to Joshua now therefore arise Moses is my servant is dead now therefore arise take lead these people across the Jordan and then he said to him, every place on which the sole of your foot shall tread I have already given it to you it wasn't the foot of God Joshua had to arise and he had to put his feet on the ground that God already said was his or said was already his because when the promise came it was his but he still had to get up walk on the ground so that he could occupy the place and possess the promised land with with the people it's the same thing for you and i we there's some movement when god gives us a promise i'm not saying we must run ahead and make it happen but the movement is to accept the invitation to say god let's reason together help me understand this word help me to show me what i can do guide me lead me by your spirit so that i can Co partner with you I can cooperate with the leading of the spirit so I can be prepared I can go through the process and I can be where you need me to be when you need me to be so the first reason I've got a little heading here why some people stay in the same season or why they go around in cycles is firstly a lack of understanding that God uses seasons to prepare us some people think they're going to get a word it's going to happen if it doesn't happen the next day or the next month then they get offended with God and they say, I believe, I'm not going to believe anything that people prophesy anymore. And that already closes the door because you walk in unbelief and you don't have the faith to receive what God is going to say to you. The next one is, I call it an unworthiness complex. It makes people think that God can't do anything with them. So they don't see the need to go through different seasons. They've stopped looking at their life in seasons. They think it's just one big mess or one big cycle of trouble and turmoil and confusion and chaos. And they, they, they feel unworthy. So they allow this to happen instead of saying, hey, I'm a child of God. I have authority in Christ. I don't have to tolerate this rubbish from the enemy. I can rise up. I can take authority, I can get a scripture, I can pray, I can ask for God's help. And then once we do that, we begin to see the cycle. The cycle gets interrupted and we begin to understand all these things I'm going through. The devil's been trying to tell me that I'm not worthy to receive anything from God. And you renew your mind, you change your way of thinking, and then you expect something different. You expect better from God. Then the, another one is fear of failure. This will keep people in one season. They'll stay in the season of, of promise where it's all great, 
but they won't be ready to step out and do what God instructs them to do to partner with him because there's a fear of failure. And God knows that you need him. God knows that you need his strength and his guidance. And it's all there. He wants to help you. He doesn't want you to take a risk and do something stupid and then fail doing it. God speaks a word that brings you into being able to advance or increase. And he, his word brings us to a place where if we obey him, it brings us where we succeed. Um, in jo to Joshua, he said, you shall make your way prosperous and you will succeed. You'll have success, which means you're going to move forward. You're going to advance. And so that fear of failure sometimes is a healthy thing to have because then we don't do stupid things. But if the fear of failure stops you from obeying the leading of the Spirit of God, then it's something that's going to stop you all the time from walking into the next season. It could be your season of purpose. So just make sure that you're hearing from the Spirit of God and, and not the devil saying, oh, you're going to fail at this. God will never tell you you are going to fail. God can warn you if you're about to make a mistake. But if you're obeying the leading of the Spirit of God, he's not going to say you're going to fail at this. He's going to say, I'm with you. I'm helping you. Now step out in faith and watch what I'm going to do. And then here's the last reason I'll give you. And it is unwillingness to change or not seeing the need for change. This prevents people from moving into the new season. You think you're okay in your season. Even if it's uncomfortable, it's become familiar to you. But God wants something better for you. And the, if you have an unwillingness to change, or you don't see the need for any change, you're going to be complacent. You'll sit back and say, I can do this. God will still love you. You'll still go to heaven. But God has a season of purpose for you. And if change is to come, then let's be ready for change. If he wants you to move somewhere else, let's be ready to move somewhere else. If he wants you to change your attitude, that's the biggest thing. Then change the attitude, say, Lord, help me. And then you can step into this place of purpose and see the hand of God on your life. So be encouraged with that today.